All right, guys, we're plowing that snow and making that dough. It's a snow vlog. Let's do it. All right, guys, so star date, captain's log. It's about 2.30 in the morning already. We're plowing snow. We got about three inches. It's wet. It's heavy. And my boy Rob here is basically doing the route by himself. Dave's with me. Uh, we're shoveling. We're the sidewalk crew. Uh, but you know what? We're teaching Rob how to plow, and he's doing the route. That way I can get myself out of a job and train my replacement, right? Tell you guys what, man. It is super cold. <laughs> it's like blowing crazy wind right now. I think you guys can hear it on the camera. It's about... 25 degrees real feels probably 15 to 20 but uh it's crazy precipitation right now <laughs> i guess that's what we're doing man the back and forth on the camera hey how much snow did you guys get from this snowstorm we got three inches of just wet slush crazy heart attack type snow as Stanley Dirt Monkey calls it. How much did you guys get snow? Uh, how much snow did you guys get? Leave me some comments down below. But uh, plowing that snow, making that dough. So it is timestamp, five o'clock in the morning, 4.45. Uh, we are all done with our commercial sites. Uh, we are all done with one of our residentials, that five acre site, huge long driveway that we do. And now we're gonna go knock out uh, our residential driveways. I'm actually gonna do them. I actually switched out with Rob. Uh, he did three or four of our commercial sites. I did uh, one or two of them here just to kind of go a little bit quicker, just to try to wrap up. But Rob is so much better on the joystick, on the plow. He's doing a great job. And, you know, honestly, it feels good being able to have somebody, um, you know, take care of the route if I'm out of town. Because we're going to be doing a hype house, green industry hype house. Stay tuned for that. Live stream Sunday night, uh, 6, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Little little plug there. Uh, but when I'm out of town for the next seven or eight days, hanging out with other guys, doing YouTube and all this other stuff, these guys I know can run the route and we're good to go. How'd it go? Good. Yeah. A little shovel. Yeah. How do you feel? Cold. How do you feel on the uh, plow? Oh, a lot better than I was before. Honestly, yeah. today was a big helper. I was feel a lot more comfortable if I was to be by myself. Yeah, absolutely. We got a good little team here, man, rocking and rolling, and uh, it feels good to, like I said, hopefully these guys can focus on that stuff. Oh, you holding the camera? I mean, if you want me to. Yeah, you guys can hold the hold the camera. Look at we're just these guys get promoted left and right. I just have fun. Somebody did this boulevard for us though, by the way. Somebody like kind of scraped the entrance of one of my commercials. So I'm not really sure what that's about, but anyway. Hey, the, uh, I, sh I didn't tell him just yet, but uh, the gear wrench light came on. That's not cool. So the gear wrench light uh, for Fords is either the, um, it's either the all wheel, not all wheel, the four wheel drive system or the um, transmission. That's not cool. If that's the case, I'm just buying another truck. I don't know. Rob, you want a truck? Yeah, I'll take a truck. You'll get a truck. I'll take you'll a, get truck. a truck. You'll get a truck. I'll definitely take one. Nice truck. I don't would know, be nice. man. I, I want to get a second truck for the crew to mow grass and do the whole deal, but we got 44,000 miles. We should not be seeing the gear wrench light and uh, kind of has to be a little nervous. Yeah. It's 44,000 miles, bro. But. Anyway, hey, by the way, if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't seen our videos before. All about helping you guys grow a more successful lawn landscape business and kind of documenting our real life stories about plowing snow and uh, congress. And um, if you guys are part of the regular crew, big thumbs up. Hey, by the way, if you didn't catch the lawn agreement form video that we dropped a couple days ago and you missed that one, go back, check that video out. New resources available uh, for free on launchpreneuracademy.com. Uh, the lawn inquiry forms we just mailed out. How many did you stuff in the mailbox? Uh, I, don't, I don't know what, maybe, yeah. Stack? Good stack, stack. Like 90? I think it was like 90. Maybe a little more, but I mean, I, I, I didn't count, obviously. Yeah, it's tough because uh, the first four hours, 
uh, five hours almost. We did all of our my lights on. <laughs> I'm like, why is it reflecting? Who's got their light on? Uh, Dave just said to me, he's like, I should have brought my Nintendo Switch because he's just chilling. And I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, sorry. I mean, what? Well, yeah, the first couple hours here have just been doing. Well, you're just plowing and trying to get some hours on the uh, on the plow truck, you know. So, but all right, well, let's go do some more. Uh, Plowing some residential sun's gonna be peeking out um, another hour and that'll be perfect timing because about two hours from now we're all done with uh, everything and everybody will be waking up they'll like peek out the window oh Brian and Rob are here the, tr the driveway looks good and you know what we aim to please yes we do take care of them customers <laughs> all right we'll catch up with you guys shout out to landscape professionals hey what's up guys all right little change of pace here feeling a little bit more refreshed. It's actually the next day. Well, it's actually the same day, but it's about five or six hours later. It's just after two o'clock. Your boy's out and about doing his uh, cleanups. Don't I look all cool with uh, the not shaving beard and all that mess? <laughs> Some of you guys are like, Fullerton, why don't you grow a beard? Well, I have. This has been growing out since high school, so give me, uh, give me some slack. But no, uh, last night, man, it, I'll tell you guys what, it's like a brutal snow plowing hangover. You guys ever uh, plow snow know what I'm talking about when you get those snowstorms that end when you're supposed to go to sleep right and I don't care if you take a nap I don't care if you go get three hours of sleep it's just brutal man so all the guys uh, last night we were popping under your drinks after about 5 a.m. trying to stay up um, shoveling snow wet heavy snow we're exhausted but uh, any which way um, I'm out and about right now to go do some tidy ups and usually uh, we don't have to do that many tidy ups if the snow plows have already went through, then there's none of that ice and chunk, you know, uh, of ice at the end of the driveway, which is really nice. In fact, I saw the guys in the complex as I was leaving, tidying up our place again, and uh, they've been in there for about the last hour, hour and a half. <laughs> so I'm sure everybody got a little three, four hour cat nap, and we're all back out here uh, taking care of the property. So it um, feels really good to uh, put some hours in the plow truck with Rob. He did a really, really good job. Uh, really excited about how he's progressing and um, him and Dave both, they, they know the route, they did a really good job. And I'm still gonna go out and about with them, but the idea is that if I wanted to just send them out, at least they know what they're doing. Does that make sense? Um, not really for right now, but for six to 12 months from now with them cutting grass while I'm building my home and we have the baby, which is really exciting. Uh, outside of that, you know, same time this uh, time next year when it's winter, same thing. If I don't have the time, at least I can send those guys out and about. So we're gonna go tidy up some properties here. We'll see where we can take you guys for a couple quick minutes. Um, did you guys get some snow this last two days? How much did you guys get? Man, I saw some of you guys over there in Boston and New York area got 18 to 24 inches. <laughs> That's a lot of snow, man. But hey, you know what? Take that money, put it towards new lawn equipment, keep reinvesting, man. Keep growing this thing and uh, buying that nicer gear and nicer equipment to make your life that much easier. All right, guys, we'll catch up with you here in a minute. Hey, so check this out. Uh, out and about doing some of our tidy ups, right? Let me show you guys something really quick here. Uh, what do we got here? We got a for sale sign. So we always wanna make sure that, so we always wanna make sure that the properties we're taking care of have tenants and they wanna pay their bill. <laughs> so anyway, these people have been really, really good. Just shot the uh, lady an email just to double check that they're still there. Uh, I think that sign is new to me. I haven't seen that for a while, but at the same point, I don't know, there's no tracks around it. So shooting those emails off, make sure those clients are still there. That's a little update. All right guys, well, it is about an hour later and we're all done doing some tidy ups. When the city plows come through, a couple questions I saw that you guys were asking on DM from last night. Uh, we do double back to tidy up all the end of the driveways plus the commercial entrances from the main roads. Um, we don't really charge for that because for all my accounts, they're all prepay. Um, do you guys charge for a tidy up when you guys double back? If it's another return visit and you're plowing some good snow, might be able to charge 20, 30, 40 bucks. I don't know. Uh, for us personally, uh, I just tidy those up for free. No big deal. Hey, one other question I have for you guys is <clears throat> boots. You guys got any boot suggestions as I wrap up this vlog? I've got my duck boots and I like them, but they're not the most warm or insulated. Uh, if you guys got any good boot suggestions uh, for winter, for snow, ones that are waterproof, um, obviously, that would be really helpful. I like my Cujo shoes for summer. I love my Cujo boots for landscaping in summer, um, but I'm not really digging the cold duck boots. They're supposed to be warmer than what they are. I don't know, for some reason, they're not staying very warm uh, these last two winters. So, quick little thought there. But 
All right, well, that's what I got for you guys today. A uh, quick little fun vlog. If you guys are part of the regular crew, big thumbs up. I uh, appreciate the support. Really helps the channel with the videos getting pushed out by the YouTube algorithm and all that fun stuff. And surfacing the content to other lawn bros, snow bros, snow bros. I don't know what that is. But all right, well, that's it, guys. You guys have a great day. Stay safe out there. Stay warm. I know a lot of us are getting this uh, really cold polar vortex -y. Can't remember those days. The polar vortex uh, kind of snow and uh, cold temperatures this next week. So, all right. Um, also, stay tuned for Instagram. And YouTube, as we do some stuff with the Green Industry Hype House, the first ever of its kind down in Tampa, Florida. Uh, there's going to be so many great people there and a lot of great content to come over the next week. All right, guys, have a great night. We'll talk to you. Bye.